Hey everybody, this is Tyson with HHO for Life. Just showing you a follow-up video. This is my vaporizer installed in my car. I just want to show you that the concept works. This is my setup. I changed it from what it was in the other video. because There wasn't quite enough room in my 4-inch pipe to put the uh, float valve and the air intake pipe which was submerged under the gas so I just put it into a bucket and it works fine. Um, it's a 2.5 gallon bucket. Actually I think it might be a 3.5 gallon bucket that I got from Lowe's and it has a sealable lid so that there there's a gasket on the top of the lid and it will seal and it seals all of the uh, air out. And then what I did is I just got a uh, three inch elbow and I believe this is called a uh, vent elbow and then I drilled some three inch holes through my lid put a coupler on the bottom um, and a piece of pipe in between it set it through um, glued it really good and smashed it together really tight up against this lid so it seals um, in this hose right here for the air intake at the bottom I put a cap on it three inch cap and I drilled a bunch of eighth inch holes in it all over the whole thing to make small bubbles when it bubbles up um, the gas, the cold gas vapor and this hose right here how this side works is there's a three inch vent elbow also and there's a coupler installed on this as well um, I cut it a little bit though so it's shorter so it doesn't go underneath the gas and then what I did is I put a cap on the bottom of it and I drilled a bunch of holes on this far side over here underneath on the, on the part that's in the bucket and they're about half inch holes I drilled them all over along the side and I put them on the side so that when this side sucks the air through and creates all the bubbles and gas vapor it doesn't suck the liquid gasoline through um, and I've actually put my finger down here on this extra air um, input to see if there's any liquid gasoline when I run it and there's not so it is just sucking vapor through it it's crazy because when it's going I can put my hand over here and I use that as like a check valve or, or a butterfly valve um, and you can actually feel the vapor the cold the cold vapor it's pretty neat um, so anyway this hose runs along I had to do it like this because I forgot to put it in my car first before I put everything together. Um, so, actually, yeah, that is part of the case. Um, the other reason is because there wasn't enough room to put this T in here. So this is a three inch T with a half in, inch and a half outlet. Um, and I'm using that so I can put a, uh, a butterfly valve, which I'm gonna eventually hook up to my, uh, my pedal for my throttle and it'll work just like this um, check valve does for my air intake that way when I push on the gas it'll open the valve up more letting more air in I have to do that um, and you'll see why once I start my car and get everything going because without it there's just not enough air coming through to dilute the mixture um, it sucks just way too much vapor in if I if I don't open it up um, so, just what I've noticed when I've been trying to test it out. Okay, what I have here is, this is my valve setup for my fuel line. I tied into my fuel line and I actually cut it. So right here, I have a T and then I put some barb fittings on. This side right here actually goes into my, um, my bubbler or gas vaporizer. I don't have it connected right now, I just put, I just put gas in it. Um, I had to fix the bubble or, or the, the float assembly in it so that it's lower because it was pushing too much gas through. Actually these pipes, one of them was hitting the valve so it wasn't allowing it to come up all the way to shut my fuel off which filled up my bucket. Um, so I had to fix that and I haven't just haven't reconnected it again to actually back here on this side since I had to change things around so I'm going to have to probably get a longer hose to do that. That's alright. Um, but I do have gas in this bucket and so you can see that the, the line to this right here and this, this fuel line that would be going to my bucket is shut off. The line going into my engine is shut off right now. Um, what I'm going to do 
is I'm gonna open this valve up just that far that's good enough just so I can start my car I can start it without that I just need to tune it I just need to figure out exactly how much restriction I have on this end to make it so I can start it I've done it before and I'll try I'll attempt to do it but right now in this phase of testing um, I just have it turned on so I can start my car and then work my way into shutting the fuel completely off and having it run through the vaporizer um, so this is my air intake manifold as you can see this is the actual original t pipe that went to it or t hose um, so <clears throat> once I get my car go on and going I'm gonna shut this off and have my hand over this valve right here or, or this um, air inlet right here. This air inlet dilutes the mixture so that there's not as much vapor being pulled through um, which is needed so this right here proves for a fact that you don't even need an ultrasonic transducer to run your car. Um, I have drove down the road with it by me being on here while my wife's driving down the road and it does work. It will run under load just fine. Um, I'll I'll get a video on that. I want to install my check valve set up first before I do that. I don't want to end up falling off and getting run over. Not a good idea. So let me go ahead and get my wife. Um, and I will have her come in here and start everything. And I will show you that when she pushes on the gas, um, I need to open this side up more to let more air flow through. Because otherwise it's just going to kill the engine if she pushes on the gas. Because it's... Or else it'll just basically keep idling. Hey babe, can you come help me? Alright, my beautiful, wonderful wife's coming out. She doesn't like camera, so I'll try my best not to show her. Um, but that's my Jeep. I was originally going to install this, install this on that, but my key broke off because I pulled the wrong keys out of my pocket, put it in the door lock, and it snapped off. Bummer. I'm locked out of my car, so... Oh well. Whenever I get a new K made, I, or I actually got to get it for my sister, so... All right, my wife's gonna get in the car and start it for me. The key should be in the ignition. And it might have a rough time starting it first because I had the butt that fuel shut off. But, I guess not. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have my hand over this. Put my hand over this, and you can hear it bubble. See, that killed it, because there's too much, it's, it's making the mixture too rich. Okay, you can start it again. There we go, got going again. And I have to kind of do this fast. See, I have it shut off. It is shut off all the way. Let me just push it a little more just to make sure. Okay, now it is running on 100% vapor. See, you heard it try to die down. So look, my hand. Okay, now watch. I will prove that this is all vapor because when I let off, it's going to kill it. Okay, see, it just killed it because I let my hand off and it's not allowing a suction to come through here. So I'm going to... Okay, start it again. Try it again. And again. Okay, I just started it with my fuel still shut off. So this proves that you can even start it like that. Okay, now I'm gonna I'm gonna have her push on the gas. And then as she pushes on the gas, I'll have to let my hand open. Okay, push on the gas. Push on the gas. Okay, let off. You have to get the air to fuel mixture just right, so otherwise it will die. Okay, push on the gas! Keep it pushed! Keep it pushed! See? Hey, let off! See, when she let off, I didn't have my hand over it fast enough, so it died. Okay, do it again! There we 
we go. Okay, push on the gas again. Peel it off. See how I had to almost have it completely closed so once you let off? Ooh, ooh, it's trying to die. Okay, now I will try to show you the gap when, I, when she does this, okay? Okay, push the gas. Watch, if I keep my hand on it, it's not gonna let it go up. But as soon as I let my hand off, whoop, whoop. Keep it on. You have to tell me when you're gonna let it off. Caught it, we saved it. Okay, let off. When she lets off, I almost have to completely close the gap with my hand. Um, because otherwise it'll kill it because there's no suction at all. Um, so I have to like trap all that vapor in there by completely closing the hole off, and then as it dies down and you can feel it just barely catch, open your hand up just a little bit. So um, but yeah, here's proof, okay? Proof that it works, guys. Awesome. This is just a wonderful thing. You smell the exhaust? It smells, definitely smells quite a bit different. It smells way cleaner. So I'm going to let off, let my hand off, and prove to you that you can see my valve and everything, okay? It's all shut off still. When I let off with my hand, it's not going to have a suction on this side right here, and it'll kill it, okay? It's dead. All right, so that's my setup. Proof that your car can run off of gas vapor. Let me do this. See, look, I'll put my hand down here. Clean, there's no vapor or, wa or water or liquid. If, if I had a light, a better light, I could see inside there better to show, to, you, to show you that there's no liquid in there. It was just all gas vapor. Um, so proof right here, guys, that this will work. Um, I need a new. I need to install my butterfly valve so that it's controlled with my my uh, my throttle control. Um, this is an electronic throttle control valve that operates my butterfly. So because of that, the fuel pedal, the the pedal inside for my gas is also like electronically operated. It's not like the old style manual. Now you push on it and it'll pull a cable. Um, which pulls the cable in your carburetor, opening the butterfly valve up or closing it, um, and that kind of stuff. So, this is Tyson again with HHO for Life. Does work, proof right here, with just vapor. There's no ultrasonic transducer in there at all. I have it set up. I have my uh, inverter tied on here so that I can use a tran ultrasonic transducer on there. I haven't needed to though. Um, so the the transducer that I bought for it was a five disc transducer, and I ordered it with a stinking sensor on it. I needed it without it so that it would work in gas. Um, I've heard that you can cut the sensor off and then just plug it with some bolts or screws. I don't necessarily want to take that risk because it cost me over a hundred bucks. Um, so I'm going to send it back and special order one without the sensor, and then I'm just going to try the the testing with the transducer and the vapor, the vapor from that because um, by doing that if I connect the uh, this the uh, transducer up to a, a control an electronic control that will amplify the amount of vapor that's created uh, or produced as my pedals going in it produces more it turns the amplitude up so it creates more vapor and then as I let off it turns it down so it creates less vapor uh, I'm, I'm going to try multiple routes, guys, but right now, because my transducer is not working, I tried it just like this, and it works great. As long as you have the air to fuel mixture just right, it, it'll work wonderful. Um, so, my next step is to install my butterfly valve that's going to be connected to this inlet right here. Um, so, that'll probably be my next video once I get that built. I'm going to try to just build one myself. Um, we'll see. I might just order an extra one of these. Um, electronic ones and tie all the wires in so that I can connect it up right here and work and operate it that way um, but all right guys this is Tyson with HHL for life you guys peace out have fun and be safe